Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to March Madness. Today I am actually going to do um, a cook with me video. Let me show you guys what I'm cooking. I'm actually going to make a um, Nigerian red stew. It's actually a um, tomato based stew. So let me show you guys what I'll, I am putting in it. So the meat is going to be chicken. I have my one two packs of chicken breast and the seasonings guys you can use whatever seasonings you like but these are the ones that I use I use the tomato bouillon with chicken the beef flavor lemon pepper um, roasted garlic and herb garlic powder powder excuse me I use thyme and octagono paprika Cajun seasoning cayenne pepper black pepper, curry powder, and then um, I need a tomato paste. I do have um, some cubes here. These are beef cubes. Excuse me, those are beef cubes. These are Maggie cubes, and I do use the Rotel. Um, I use the hot tomatoes with habanero peppers. Two onions, well, two sweet onions, one red onion. Of course, my vegetable sauce, my vegetable oil to fry it, and then, for some heat and I do use the whole package of these habanero peppers and of course the tomatoes so I'm gonna let you guys take a look at everything that we're going to use here and what I'm going to do is the tomatoes the peppers um, one and a half of the onions and these right here the Rotel I'm going to put them in the blender and blend them all up because that portion of it is going to be fried. So I'm gonna blend that stuff up and I'll show you guys after I blend it. And then um, I'm, gonna, I'm about to wash and season my chicken, then I'm gonna fry it. Um, a lot of times with this stew with chicken, if I fry it, I don't put any um, bread or flour or anything like that on it. I just um, season it real good and I drop it in the fryer and I fry it. And then I put it in the stew when it's time to put it in the stew. Um, so I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna put some um, whether or not I'm gonna put some flour on it today. So we'll see. But yeah, let me go ahead and let me get everything washed up, and then I'll be back with you guys. So hey guys, this video is not um, um, sponsored or anything, but I am actually going to use this today while I'm cooking this tasty set. Um, I love tasty videos. I actually love tasty videos. So when I was in Walmart and I saw their little knife set, I said, oh, let me purchase these and use these. So it's a cute little cuttery set. So I'm gonna use this today and I'm gonna see how I like it. Well, like I said, the video is not sponsored or anything. Um, I just love to watch tasty videos. So when I saw their knife set, I said, hmm, let's buy it and see how much I like it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start blending up my mixture, my tomato mixture. This is the Rotel. I already put one pep, I meant one tomato in. So that's one can of the Rotel. Let me get some of my tomatoes cut up. And I'm using the tasty knife. Love it. So and I'm gonna make my blender earn this keep today because I I'm not going to chop these tomatoes fine. The peppers, look, I am just going to pull the top off. I am blending the entire peppers and it is five of them that is going in. Oh, this one I'm going to have to cut off. But yeah, the entire pack, see, is going in. Four. And, oh, it's actually six, because I had another one that was down there up on my tomato. So, this is number five. And this is number six. Let me cut that top off. And, let me get a little bit, another one of these tomatoes. And then, I might have to add a little bit of water in there. It's okay, get my topping board. get an onion chopped up. I'm gonna get the smaller onion 
and I'm gonna get it put in there with it. Oh, honey, this knife is amazing. Yes, love it. And I got my grease over there warming up so I can start dropping my chicken and frying it. So, yeah. So let me get some onion in here. And like I said, I may have to add just a little bit of water to work everything through. Okay. in there that'll make it easier for me to pour it into my pot when it's time to fry my mixture so oh yeah goodness 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 but you don't know Nigerian stew if it ain't spicy it ain't right I'm trying to tell you so you gotta have it spicy so let me go ahead and oop it's back on I bought this little thing from Walmart it was like $15 Go ahead and put the other can of the Rotel hot tomatoes in there. And let me try to get the rest. Oh my goodness, if y'all can smell them peppers, whoa. I'm trying to tell you, try to get the rest of these tomatoes in. So I want to use them all. And this knife is, let me stop doing this on my hand and put it on this chopping board. Because, honey, this tasty knife ain't no joke. It is sharp. When I tell y'all this thing is sharp. I want to cut my finger. Let me put it on this cutting board so I don't chop the fingers off. So I definitely don't want to cut my fingers. Oh my gosh. My eyes are on fire. These peppers are burning. And I ain't even start cooking it. If y'all cook with, with habanero peppers, y'all already know what it is. Honey. And these tomatoes are huge. I got this many more to go in. I'm gonna put one more in. Then I'm gonna just get them blended by themselves. Let me see if I can get this blended without adding any water. I'm not gonna pour all this out because I'm need some moisture for the rest of these. Um, so I'm gonna keep a little of this, and it's not gonna fit anywhere. I'm gonna keep this much at the bottom of it. Ooh, my grease should be about done when I cut these last five tomatoes up. I'm gonna go over there and start dropping the chicken in the fryer. Cause that should be ready to take it by then guys this knife cuts amazing and it is just as sharp as it can be too i was holding the tomatoes in my hand slicing slicing them but i saw an accident about to happen so shots out the tasty like i said it's not sponsored but this knife is amazing And I also need to cut
So let me go ahead and drop some of this chicken. Let me go ahead and drop some of this chicken in the fire. Oh yeah, it's definitely ready. Some tongs and don't y'all be talking about me talking about I don't have any gloves on. This is not for sale. We're eating this here in my home. How many people cook with gloves on when they're cooking for themselves? Cut it out. Don't even try. So, see, this is the chicken. Let me go ahead and drop a few pieces. And I decided not to, excuse me, I decided not to use, kind of somebody looks a little dark. I decided not to use any flour today. I really didn't need it. Let me show y'all what the chicken looks like in a second. I just seasoned it really well. And you know, the pieces I put in there, I think I could. Oh yeah, I got a little bit more room. Hop on it, get the top, oh, the top running away from me guys, let me get this top put on it, give me one second, get this flip back up, so, I'm going to let that fry up, I'm going to show you guys how look after it fries up, I am going to get what I have left, y'all see these, I need to cut these two onions up, so I need to cut this one, and I need to cut this one, so, can you see my space, so, let me clean my little workspace off that's my little cutting board so let me clean all this stuff up and then i will be back with you guys
yesterday, guys. It was $12.99, and it is huge. See that? The only thing I've put in it so far is vegetable oil. When the vegetable oil gets hot, I'll drop the onions that I just chopped up in. You see? Vegetable oil. And I still have my chicken over here frying. And the chicken that is already done, I just put it on a warming rack and I put it in the oven to keep it warm. And I still have my two blends over here that I've blended. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my seasonings over on the other side of um, over by the stove. Because what I'm going to do is after the onions fry and when the onions get fried up, I put my season, I'm, excuse me, I put my um blend mixture in there and then after i put my blend mixture i add all of my seasonings and i just add them to taste i've been cooking this so long i already know what i want to add in there but um if this is your first time just season it to taste you can use whatever seasonings you want so you don't have to use chicken you can use beef you can use steak you can use fish i actually prefer fish i actually prefer the salmon um, steak but we've been going to Harris Teeter for a couple of weeks now and they're always out of it so I used um, some chicken breast and the good thing about this stew you can add multiple types of chicken in it so I'm um, excuse me multiple types of meat so we usually have beef chicken and fish in it at the same time and it tastes so good um, and what I'll probably do is go and unthaw some I have shrimp in my freezer. I'm going to throw some shrimp and I'm going to fry the shrimp up and I'm going to throw the shrimp in there with the chicken. Um, I'm going to do that right fast probably. Um, so yeah, once I, well let me see about this please because I have a stove. I don't have a stove. On. So I'm going to let that get hot and then I'm going to throw those onions in there. See, it's not quite ready yet. But when it gets ready, I'm gonna throw those onions in there. And then the the few little I don't like these. Um I hate when I cook some chicken, it shrinks because you see that they shrink. Those chicken thighs. They do. And I have like seven or eight of them in the oven because I just took that many of them out from the fire. So yeah. So when the grease gets hot, I'm gonna drop these, excuse me, when the grease gets hot, I'm gonna drop these onions in there. And then that's that. Really easy meal, really easy meal. The longest part really is frying the tomato mixture. That's the hard, that's the longest part. Frying that tomato mixture because you have to fry it until that tomato taste comes off of it. And the majority of the time, I use the goose that I fry my chicken in to fry the mixture in the big pot, but I don't have a lot of time. Time change, so it's already seven o'clock, and I have some that I have I have to leave here at 10 o'clock tonight, so I just don't have a lot of time to wait on everything to um, fry and to do that. So I just use fresh oil instead of using the oil that I fry my chicken with. But I usually use the oil that I fry my meat with. So once I, it's not all the way hot, but it's hot enough for me to put these onions in. Go ahead and put these onions in here. Let me show y'all. See, you see that? They're not frying yet, but they'll start frying. They're not frying yet, but they'll start frying. Go ahead and put these. When in doubt, just say whoever you talk to my manager. Next, our Vala's 100% online shopping experience. Oh. And Vala lets people buy a car. Get this. Let me see if this is too big. Yeah. That's too big. So. And I use a lot of onions. I love to taste the onions. Give it. All right. That is all my onions. See? So that's what it looks like. And I told guys, I'm going to just wait for the onions to start frying. Then I'll show you what it looks like when the onions start frying. And then when I put the mixture in with it. Because after the onions fry for like five minutes, I put the mixture in. And I let the mixture fry for like 25 to 30 minutes and then I add tomato paste and let that fry for um, like 20 minutes just to get that 
tomato we in the tomato we paste taste out of it because you don't want that sour tomato taste in it. So I'll be back guys. I'm gonna drop my seasonings in there and I'm gonna drop them just like this. I'm gonna drop the three baggy cubes. I mean, excuse me, these are the beef cubes. The two baggy cubes and the other seasonings. I'm gonna just drop them in there on top of it. And now we, it's the waiting game, just let it cook. Okay, guys, so these are the final few pieces of the chicken thighs. See that? Don't they look good? They fried up. They fried up really good, so I'm just waiting on the stew to really, really start frying. Look at it so far. Move that. Just doing a little, doing a little bubbling. It's not really frying yet. It's just doing a little bubbling. So we'll wait on this to do this thing. And then we'll be done. So, and that stew is going to take a little minute. It's going to take a little minute. I'm going to probably add some of the grease from the chicken to it. Um, to give a little bit more flavor and a little bit more heat to it while it's frying. Because I seasoned the chicken as well with um, a lot of Cajun seasoning and um, with some pepper. So, I'm going to probably add some of the grease from that fryer to the stew and let it fry up and i will be back guys hey guys so i'm back to show you guys how the stew came out i actually um finished it yesterday um i thought this trash i actually finished it yesterday but i had to um, go out so i didn't get a chance to show you guys what it ends up looking like i actually have some in the microwave i'm gonna eat let me warm that up and I'll show y'all what it looks like. I hit stop. And let me show you, well, the pot, what it looks like in the pot, but it's, it's cold. It's not hot. So, I'll show y'all the end. What you? You showed it in the refrigerator? Why would I do that? Jella is funny. We um we purchased a new refrigerator and Jella was like, did you show up the refrigerator? I had to change my hair, girl. You know you have to change it up for them sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't brushed my wig though. I ain't brushed my wig though, y'all. You're so, a person. I know. That's and then all the um grease from when I fried the stew, I put it in my fryer. Because this is good to use when you're frying other um, Nigerian recipes. It's really good to use. Try to give me a clean fork off from over there in the sink. I washed them. So, my stove is so dirty. I need to clean it off. Um, this is hot. Yeah, that's clean. I washed, I washed it. Dishes, so. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to wait till you're done. So, you want to say hi? Come say hi. You just got out of school. Woo. So. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I just put me a little, a little chicken on it. It's really good if you also put, um, say hi, Nana. Nana just got to school. Oh, she's funny. But I, um, it's really good if you put, um, like Nigerian salad and stuff with it or plantains, but I didn't do all of that. So this is the end result. This is what it looks like. 
and I didn't put a whole lot so I'm gonna end this video and I want to thank you guys so much for watching continue to watch our March Madness I will see you guys tomorrow um, don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and I love you guys until the next time be blessed